Hare Krishna. When fighting temptation, focus just on surviving the present battle, not on winning the whole war. When we try to resist desires, we sometimes feel, okay, I, may, I might resist it now, but it's going to come again a few hours later or maybe tomorrow or a few days later and I may resist again, but it will keep coming again and again and eventually I'll give in. So let me give in now only. Now this kind of thoughts are coming to us because of our mind. The mind is our enemy. Krishna tells us in the Bhagavad Gita in 6.6 .6, that Bandhuratma Atmanastasya he says that, that if the mind is controlled, then it is our friend. But if it's not controlled, it can be our greatest enemy. So what do we what does it mean? How does the mind act as our enemy? When we are fighting the battle against temptation, if the if we are fighting against someone and some other person tells us, Oh, you know, this enemy is very powerful. How long can you fight against this enemy? Eventually, you are going to be defeated. So then that enemy, that person who is discouraging us is also acting as our enemy. So one who discourages us in our fight against our enemy is also our enemy. So the mind is an enemy of that kind. And what do we need to do? The mind is uncontrolled, so it's making us think that, oh, we have to fight against this temptation lifelong and how will we succeed? But we have to understand that we just have to win the, we just have to survive the present round. It's not that temptation keeps tormenting us at the same intensity lifelong or even 24 hours. Its intensity increases for some time and that time we give in and then after that it decreases. And even if it comes next time, each time we have succeeded in uh, surviving it, we have become stronger and it has become weaker. So with each war that we win, it won't be just an endless series of wars going on in, in which eventually we will, we will be defeated. Rather, with each war that, each, sorry, each battle that we win, we will become stronger and increase the possible probability of winning the future battles. So by expanding our vision to think of all the future battles, we will dishearten ourselves. But instead, if we control the mind and focus it on the present battle, then it is possible to resist temptation, especially if we focus on Krishna and try to remember Krishna and remember that Krishna is with us, within us, then by that connection with Krishna, resisting temptation will become much easier. And each time temptation attacks, we move closer and closer to Krishna. Then not only do we get greater strength, we do, not only do we become stronger than temptation by our resistance, but we become stronger than temptation even by our transcendence, by our absorption in Krishna. So just focus on surviving the present battle and just by doing that in an iterative way again and again, uh, each time focusing on the existing battle, not on the whole war, we will eventually Win the whole war. Thank you. Hare Krishna.